Now the third way of finding the solutions to a quadratic equation is using the quadratic formula. Now the quadratic formula is your more senior type of formula, it's quite an intense formula, um, but once you have it then it makes solving a quadratic equation actually quite easy. And what you are going to need is the format ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. So if you have a, b and c those values then you can use the quadratic formula to solve the quadratic equation. Okay, what I'm going to do in this video is show you where do we get the quadratic formula from and you'll actually recognize the method that I'm using. All I'm going to do is use this general form and do completing the square on this form. Okay, so how do we complete the square? Well, let's just go through the steps. First, we want to get these two terms grouped on the one side and C on the other side. So I'm subtracting C on both sides so that I'm left with AX squared plus BX is equal to negative C. In the next step you'll recall that we don't want any coefficient for X other than 1 so I have to divide with an A but when I divide with an A I must divide everything with an A so that now I'm left with X squared plus b over a x is equal to negative c over a. In the next step you'll recall what we now did to complete the square was to take half of the middle term, in other words half of the coefficient of the middle term I mean, squared and adding it on both sides. So on both sides I'm going to add half of b over 2a is b, so or b over a is b over 2a, okay, and I'm going to square that and add it on both sides. So on both sides adding b over a divided by 2 is b over 2a squared. So now what I have is x squared plus b over a x plus b over 2a squared is equal to, on the other side I've got, okay, b over 2a becomes b squared over 4a squared. And then I have minus c over a. But what I'm going to want to do is add these two terms together. So I see that the denominator still needs a 4, so I multiply the numerator and the denominator with a 4 and an a. So I'm going to have to multiply with an a so that this becomes 4ac over 4a. Okay. Now this breaks into two brackets and those two brackets are the two, first of all this is an x, and an x, since that is a plus, means the signs are the same, the same as that, so this is going to be a plus and a plus, and now what times what gives me b over 2a, and when I add it I get b over a? Well it's b over 2a. b over 2a times b over 2a will give me b squared over 4 a squared, that's what I have here, and b over 2a plus b over 2a will equal 2b over 2a, which is just b over a, okay, so that gives me the middle term. So the two numbers that I want to multiply together to get b over 2a squared is b over 2a, b over 2a, okay, and then let me just make space on this side again, On the right hand side, what do I have left? Well, on that side, I have left b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. Sorry, that needs a square. Okay, so this, here I have it. I've got x plus b over 2a squared is equal to b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. OK. 
and now all I need to do is take a square root on both sides since I have a squared number on the left okay that contains my unknown so I'm taking a square root on this side and a square root on the other side remember when we take our square root we put a plus minus so now I have left on the left hand side no need for the bracket anymore x plus b over 2a okay the bracket was there to show it as squared okay on the right hand side we can take the square root of b squared minus 4ac we don't know what the square root of that is so we're going to keep that like like that but in the denominator we know the square root of 4 that's 2 and we know the square root of a squared that's just a so that's what we have on the right hand side and now what we simply have left to do is subtracting b over 2a on both sides minus b over 2a on both sides to get our x on its own and that's our final formula here we go we've got x is equal to minus b over 2a plus or minus the square root of a b squared minus 4ac over 2a now since the denominators are the same we can just add them together and that is going to be our final answer x is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a okay so this was very very technical and you see we've got this intense formula okay as I said before this is your more senior type formula okay and let me just show you how easy it is to use this formula I am literally going to think up any uh, quadratic equation so let's go let's go for 4 x squared minus 3 x minus let's make it 7 is equal to 0 and what we must do is find the solution what must x be so that when I substitute it in here I actually get 0 and all we need to do is use this tremendous formula and substitute in it okay so we're going to substitute this is a sorry yes a that is b sorry b is the negative 3 is b and the negative 7 is c so negative b negative negative 3 is positive 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared is negative 3 squared that's 9 okay minus 4 times a is 4 4 times 4 okay times c is negative 7 so negative 7 that is what I have in my numerator in my dom denominator 2 times a so I've got 2 times 4 uh, and that will give me 8 so let's just solve this 3 plus or minus the square root of let's solve what's inside there using our calculator okay we have 9 minus 4 times 4 times 7 the negative is equal to 121 121 that's quite coincidental that it is a perfect square in there okay divided by 8 and let's see what answers do we get okay we get 3 plus or minus the square root of 121 is 11 divided by 8 so we have that x is either 3 plus 11 over 8 3 plus 11 is equal to 14 over 8 or x is equal to 3 minus 11 that's negative 8 over 8 which is equal to negative 1 and those are the solutions the two values that if I substitute them in here I will get 0 shall we test it okay we've got 4 times negative 1 squared minus plus sorry minus 3 times negative 1 minus 7 is equal to 4 times negative 1 squared is 4 plus 3 minus 7 is equal to 0